Hello students, now let's discuss about the uterine anomalies. In the previous video, we have seen that for the proper formation of uterus, cervix and vagina, there should be proper fusion of the two Mullerian ducts. The two Mullerian ducts are the paramesonephric ducts. They have to fuse and forms the proper uterus, cervix and the upper two thirds of the vagina. Now what happens if there is a failure in the fusion of these Mullerian ducts? The failure in the fusion of these Mullerian ducts will cause the uterine anomalies. Now let's discuss about the different different uterine anomalies. Now let's start with the uniconvate uterus. Okay, uniconvate uterus. So what exactly problem in the uniconvate uterus? Uniconvate uterus is not an abnormality due to improper fusion. It's not a fusion defect. Why I'm saying so? Usually for the proper formation of uterus, cervix and vagina, two Mullerian ducts should have to fuse. But in this condition, one Mullerian duct is totally regressed or one Mullerian duct is not developed. So in this female, uterus, cervix and vagina, they have developed from a single Mullerian duct. Guys, let me ask you one question. For the proper formation of the normal uterus, you need a two Mullerian ducts. If there is only one Mullerian duct, will the uterus which is formed, is it a normal uterus? No. Is it a normal cervix? No. Is it a normal uh, two-third of the vagina? No. It's They are all the half of the normal. So, what's the problem in the uniconvate uterus? One Mullerian duct is not developed. Okay, a one Mullerian duct is not developed. So, how the uterus, cervix and vagina, how they look like? See, once concentrate, this is the fallopian tube. Now, this is the uterus which is forming. Okay, from that Mullerian duct. Now, this is the cervix and this is the vagina. Okay. Now, is it looking normal? Definitely not. Why it is not looking normal? Why? Because now this entire uterus, cervix and vagina, they have formed from the single Mullerian duct. Now, in the exams, they might ask you the, these kind of questions. In uniconvate uterus, how many fallopian tubes are there? How many uterus are there, cervix and vagina are there? Now, please concentrate. In uniconvate uterus, there is one fallopian tube, one uterus, one cervix and one vagina. Okay, but they are all, they are all half of the normal. Okay, they are actually half of the normal structures. Now, what are the important MCQs which you should know regarding uniconvate uterus? Here, this uniconvate uterus, as it's a half of a normal structure, what do you think the possibility of getting pregnancy? It's very, very difficult for a female to get pregnant with this kind of uterus. So, uniconvate uterus have the worst reproductive outcome. Uniconvate uterus have worst reproductive outcome. Okay, this is the first important MCQ. Worst reproductive outcome is seen with the which uterine anomaly? Uniconvate uterus. Next, second important MCQ is in this condition, what's the exact problem? One Mullerian duct is not developing. If one Mullerian duct is not developing, there is also a chance that the other parts in this embryo might also not developing. For example, like metanephros. 
if other important structures are not developing means what happens there is a failure of development of other organ systems so please remember in uniconvate uterus the female usually associated with the renal anomalies uniconvate uterus is usually associated with renal anomalies renal anomalies okay second important mcq after studying about the uniconvate uterus let's discuss about the second uterine anomaly the second uterine anomaly which you are going to discuss right now is uterus di delphis uterus di delphis so what exactly problem with the uterus di delphis in uterus di delphis there is a failure in the fusion along the line in the, along the line the the mullerian ducts they are not fusing if the mullerian ducts they are not fusing what happens usually after the proper fusion these fused mullerian ducts they will form they will form one uterus one cervix and one vagina if they are not properly fusing these mullerian ducts these two mullerian ducts they will form two uterus two cervix and two vagina so a female with the uterus di delphis what is the main problem failure in fusion okay let me rewrite it for you so a female with uterus di delphis what is the exact problem the problem is a failure in fusion along the line so along the line of fusion it's a failure okay now how many uterus will be there in a female with uterus di delphis how many number of uterus will be there a two uterus will be there how many cervix will be there a two cervix will be there how many fallopian tubes will be there two fallopian tubes number of vagina two so everything is Two, two, two in number. Now let's see how exactly it looks like. Okay, how exactly it looks like. Now once concentrate, guys. So these are the uterus. These are the uterus. Now these are the a fallopian tubes and this is okay vagina please concentrate now in this diagram it was very clear how many uterus are there so two uterus one uterus another uterus how many cervix is there a one cervix other cervix how many vagina are there two vagina are there how many number of fallopian tubes are there this is one fallopian tube this is the other fallopian tube totally two fallopian tubes are there okay so please important point is it's a complete a failure in the fusion along the line which gives two uterus two cervix two vagina and two fallopian tubes so this is what uterus di delphis is now let's discuss the third uterine anomaly which is bicornuate uterus biconvate uterus so what exactly is the problem with the biconvate uterus in biconvate uterus there is a fusion there is a fusion of the mullerian ducts but where is this fusion happening fusion happening only in the lower part of the mullerian ducts okay let me show you so that it will be very clear see this is a one mullerian duct this is the other mullerian duct okay i am showing a normal thing normally it should be like this okay so uh, these two mullerian ducts they have to fuse like this when they fuse this part this fused part of the mullerian ducts they will form a vagina this part 
it will form a cervix and this part is going to form the uterus in bicornuate uterus there is fusion only at the lower part of the mullerian ducts but the this part okay this part which i am highlighting see this part is not fused if this part is not fused how many uterus will be there now in this part two uterus are going to form why because that part of the mullerian duct is not fused now if this part of the mullerian duct if it is not fusing how many cervix will be there a two cervix will be there but i am saying in biconvex uterus this part is completely fused okay this part is completely fused if this part of the mullerian duct if it is completely fused especially the lower part of the mullerian duct is fused that what i am trying to say if that part is fused then there will be only a single vagina so very very important mcq in biconvex uterus how many vagina will be there a single vagina okay how many uterus will be there two uterus how many cervix will be there two cervix now please concentrate this biconvex uterus it's having a two types there are two subtypes in biconvex uterus they are biconvex unicolis biconvex bicolis so what is the difference between biconvex unicolis and biconvex bicolis please uh, let me show you in other diagram so that it will be clear in so okay this is what i am showing see this diagram which we have already seen so this diagram is actually representing biconvex bicolis why why because there is only single vagina and these upper parts okay these upper parts they are not fusing as they are not fusing they are having the female is having a two uterus and two cervix so if in bicornuate bicolis if someone ask you in bicornuate bicolis how many uterus will be there the uterus a two in number how many cervix will be there a two cervix how many vagina will be there one vagina so what we have discussed so far this is bicornuate bicolis what's actually happening in biconvex unicolis in biconvex unicolis concentrate this is one mullerian duct this is the other mullerian duct now once concentrate guys this part of the mullerian duct it is fused as that part of the mullerian duct is fused now there is a single vagina there is a single vagina now here please is very very important even this part of mullerian duct is fused but here it's not fused here it's fused that what is what i'm trying to say even here this part of the mullerian duct which forms the cervix it is also fused so how many cervix will be there cervix will also be one in number now this part of the mullerian duct is not fused so how many uterus will be there as there are two mullerian ducts which are not fused there are two uterus so this is what bicornuate means two uterus bicornuate unicolis means single cervix here it is bicornuate two uterus and bicolis two cervix okay guys please remember in the exam they will be asking you bicornuate bicolis represent two uterus two cervix okay but finally ultimately speaking a female with bicornuate uterus will have how many vagina one vagina that's it okay now after this let's discuss about other uterine anomalies the fourth and most important uterine anomaly is septate 
uterus okay a septate uterus so what's the exact problem with the septate uterus here in septate uterus outward you know outward grossly everything looks perfectly fine okay these two mullerian ducts they are fused as they are fused there is a single uterus single cervix and single vagina and two fallopian tube everything looks absolutely normal but whenever these mullerian ducts okay i'm just showing the cross section whenever these mullerian ducts two mullerian ducts whenever they are fusing now the septa or the wall this layer okay this layer please concentrate this layer should have to break down this layer of cells they have to break down and there should be formation of a single duct so that it's going to form a proper uterus even septate uterus there is proper fusion but this breakdown okay this breakdown it is not happened okay that breakdown of the cells is not happened so what happens see if you see the uterus okay this is the uterus okay this is the how a normal uterus looks like okay so this is the vagina this is the cervix and this is the uterus and these are the fallopian tubes okay these are the fallopian tubes now what's the exact problem with the septate uterus as there is a problem with the breakdown of these cells it will represent as a septum it will represent as a septum in the uterine cavity okay now you will see a septum like this so this is known as a septate uterus the septate uterus is due to failure in the breakdown of the wall between the two mullerian ducts now with this wall if this is not broken down it will represent as a septum in the uterus but outwardly everything looks normal okay now what are the important points about the septate uterus there are very very important mcqs regarding the septate uterus what are they septate uterus septate uterus is the most common uterine anomaly okay the most common uterine anomaly see what are the uterine anomalies which we have seen uniconvate uterus biconvate uterus uterus didelphis septate uterus out of all these the most common uterine anomaly is a septate uterus now the septate uterus okay it is going to cause abortions okay which uterine anomaly causes abortions most commonly it's the septate uterus associated with uterine sorry associated with abortions okay these are the two important mcqs which you should never miss in this topic which we have what we have discussed different different types of uterine anomalies due to defect in the fusion of the mullerian ducts in the next video we'll be discussing about the mullerian agenesis thank you